Have you ever wondered how a pacemaker helps in treating bradycardia? Well, today we're going to dive into that very question. Our first stop on this journey is the sinus node dysfunction, also known as the sick sinus syndrome. This is where the heart's natural pacemaker, the sinus node, doesn't function as it should. In such cases, a pacemaker is often used to treat the resulting slow heart rate, or bradycardia. Moving on, we encounter the atrioventricular, or AV block. Specifically, the first degree AV block, where there is a delay in the electrical impulses passing from the atria to the ventricles. Here, a pacemaker is used to ensure proper conduction and keep the heart beating at a healthy rhythm. Now, let's talk about heart failure. In heart failure, patients with certain electrical conduction abnormalities, a special pacemaker known as a biventricular pacemaker may be used. This device improves the coordination of contractions between the heart's ventricles, a process known as biventricular pacing or cardiac resynchronization therapy. Next on our list is the tachybrady syndrome. Some individuals may experience episodes of both fast and slow heart rhythms. In these cases, a pacemaker with additional features, such as the ability to sense and respond to rapid heartbeats, can help manage these situations. Post-cardiac surgery is another situation where a pacemaker can be of immense help. After cardiac surgery, especially if there's a risk of heart block or other arrhythmias, a temporary pacemaker may be used until the heart's natural rhythm stabilizes. In cases of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, where there's an obstruction to the flow of blood out of the heart, a pacemaker may be used to control the heart rate and improve symptoms. Atrial fibrillation with bradycardia is another condition where a pacemaker can be beneficial. If the heart rate is excessively slow, a pacemaker may be used to provide a baseline heart rate and prevent excessively slow beats. Now, let's talk about neurocardiogenic syncope. In some individuals prone to fainting due to a sudden drop in heart rate, a pacemaker may be used to maintain a stable heart rate and prevent fainting. And finally, we have the long QT syndrome. In certain cases, a pacemaker may be used as part of the treatment strategy to prevent dangerous ventricular arrhythmias such as torsades de point. In conclusion, a pacemaker plays a crucial role in managing bradycardia. Whether it's ensuring a steady heart rate, preventing fainting or improving heart function post-surgery, a pacemaker is a versatile tool that has revolutionized cardiac care. So, the next time you hear about a pacemaker, remember the incredible work this little device does to keep hearts beating.